Los Angeles Rams. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. First and ten, it's Jackson. Steps away to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Well, if they have any thoughts of coming in here and getting this road victory, that's not the way to start it out on the first play of the game. Yeah, one thing you always say when you go on the road, take the crowd out of the game. They actually brought the crowd into it by permitting that sack right out of the gate. Couple up to the 22. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. This is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs late. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33 yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. Working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely looking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. Down to the 25. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. To throw is Stafford. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Here we go on fourth. Stafford flushed out right. That's to his running back complete. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the...
15-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Sony Michelle. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Sony Michelle scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. Matt Gay on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7 0 lead. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. That catch good for only a couple. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rally to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. It'll be a gain of five and it'll be third down. They go play action now. Jackson rolling to his left. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. You have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. That catch good for only a couple. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second down and eight. Jackson. It's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former Raven, Eric Weddle. And the Rams are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. Michelle, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? On second and 11 now. Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Now it's Stafford. 
Open man right side is cut complete. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want to. you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Michelle going to try again. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Now Stafford on third and goal. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That is definitely what we call on defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson, when you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. And that throw behind his man, he missed him incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Jackson now on second and 10. They set up the screen for Dobbins. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. How many times do we hear that third down may be the most important down in football? And there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big-time play putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. It seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home. And they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best. As that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. 
Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now a first down throw, Stafford. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. A shotgun snap for Stafford. That's out to his running back, Michelle. Touchdown, LA! Sony Michelle. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Rams add on to their lead. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who's a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Aaron Donald able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And that's his second sack in this one. And you just can't ask a defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet, even if he's not getting the sack. He's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. They go play action with Jackson. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. Things just kind of continuing to unravel for him here in the second half. They take the shot downfield, but this defense once again up to the task. Well, this is where you think about the old phrase, desperate times call for desperate measures because they've got nothing on the scoreboard, and they're just trying to get something, anything to go their way. But in this case, they turn the ball over. After the interception, here's Stafford. A quick pass to cut. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in the yard. First down marker at the five. It's second and goal. From the gun, here's Stafford. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Throwing again at Stafford. 
sliding out of the pocket. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Matthew Stafford. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Rams use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that makes the score 21 to zip. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And they're going to face a third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. On third down, Jackson. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screen play is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short game. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the third. yard line throwing is Jackson and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today picked off at the 38 and Charles, he's thrown five picks in a game before and right now after that one he's standing on number four Defensive coordinator is asking the offense coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field. So play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more, but a lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. They'll run on first down with Akers. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Eight yards to go on second down. Going right back to Akers. And fights through one man. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. On first down, Michelle. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. Michelle down right around the 25. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And the Ravens will take over here just shy of the 30. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. 
Being ch Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Rams have got it back. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the Bucs. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here, and now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. They'll run on first down. Michelle, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On second and 11 now. Stafford. And bringing it in right side here. Beckham. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Throwing here, Stafford. And he fires one incomplete. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Stafford now to throw. His throw caught at about the five. Touchdown, Rams. Sony Michelle from 19 yards away. And the Rams take advantage of the turnover to put up six. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Buying time to his left. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. From the gun, it's Jackson. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 39. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into some windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. 